Hello and welcome to the IT Academy. In today's video, we are going to continue with our series on PowerPoint presentation. We're going to take a look at animations in your presentations. PowerPoint animations bring your presentation to life. It gives your presentation some dynamism and excitement. Today, we will look into what animations are and how to apply them. First of all, I'm going to insert a rectangle here. This is what we're going to use for our sample animation. So if you want to apply an animation effect onto any object on your slide, the first thing you do is to select the object and then you go to the animations tab. You click on it. It'll display some of the animation effects available to you. Then if you want to see all the animation effects, you click on this drop down button and then it shows you all the animations. Now the animations are grouped in different categories. We have the entrance, which is the green ones here. The entrance is the kind of animation effect you apply on an object that is just being introduced onto the slide. Let's say this is, is this rectangle. The first time it's coming onto the slide. These are the kind of effects that we apply to it. Do you want it to fly in? Do you want it to float in? Do you want it to fade in? So we have to pick one of those. And then we have the emphasis. The emphasis is when the object is already on the slide, you want it to do something, some kind of movement, some kind of visual effect. That is when you choose emphasis. And then sometimes when an object is done with, you want it to go off the screen. This is where you decide. You can say uh, fly out and object, you select fly out and the object will fly out. You can make it fade out or bounce out or whatever other effects that you want. You can also select from here motion path. This is a different category. This category will help you control the movement of any object. You can decide which path it is to follow, the direction the object should follow. Okay, so we're going to look at each of these categories. Now, the first one is fly in or entrance. I want this object to be introduced onto the presentation. So I select and I go to animation. I want it to fly in. So I click on fly in. You see that a number has been attached to it. It means there is one animation effect, animation effect that is being applied to this box. So when you do that, there is also effect options. We have chosen the fly in effect. So what are the options? You go to effect options and then you decide where it is flying from. Is it from the left, right? Let's make it fly in from the left. Okay, now let's preview this and see. Okay. I think we chose fly in from bottom, uh, bottom left. Let's see. Click here, fly in effect options, we want it to fly in from the left. So we preview and then it comes. So that is the entrance effect. You can choose any other entrance effect. Then the next effect we're going to choose will be from the emphasis category. You see, when you want to add an additional effect, you are not going to choose it from here. If you choose any effect from here, it will simply replace the one that is here. But we want an additional effect. That means we have to go here, add animation. So I click on add animation and then I go and choose which emphasis animation I want. I think I want it to spin. So first of all, it will fly in and then it will spin. Okay. So let's preview it. You see that it has two effects now. Let's preview it. It flies in and it spins and it stops. What about if we wanted to exit the scene? We also use add animation. Click on it. 
and then we go to exit. I want it to fade, fade off. So I select fade. Now you see we have three animation effects. You see top at the top here, these are options that we can apply to the effects we have chosen. So when you look at the right side here too, is the same thing here. We can do the same thing up here or down here. Okay. If on your PowerPoint screen, you don't see this, that means you have to go up and click animation pane and it shows here. So we have the three effects. Let's preview and see. Spins and it disappears. You see, let's do it one more time. It appears, it spins and then it disappears. So we have three effects on it. And then we can also control the speed of the effects. The first one is entrance. So I can click in here, duration. I can make it 250, okay? Now let's preview it and see. You see, it's slower. So every effect can be controlled. Its speed can be controlled. Let's look at the other category, which is motion paths. Now for the motion path, I'm going to use the second slide. Supposing this is our presentation and I want to have some spectacular entrance for this gentleman here. I want him to come in this way, fly out here, make a funny move before it stays. To do that, I have to use the motion path or the custom path. So let's select it here. We're going to use the custom path. Okay. So then I draw the line and I bring it this way and then I bring it this way and I double click. So let's preview it. You see it? So that is how it's going to be during the presentation. Now, when he lands, I want him to do something else. So I want to add an additional animation. So I select and then go to add animation. And for emphasis, I want him to spin. Okay. Before he finally lands. So let's preview it. It's going to go this way, spin, and then stop. Okay, so that is that. And like with the other present other effects, you can also control the speed and the direction, among others. Okay, so there's one other thing, one other thing we can add to an animation, which is trigger. What we did now didn't need any trigger. It unconditionally just floated in. But you can control your animation by deciding when the animation should play. I have one other presentation here. You see, I'm going to demonstrate how you can trigger an animation when you want to. First of all, let's create this. I'm going to insert a shape here. Okay. I will duplicate or multiply this shape. I want to have four of them. Yeah. And then I'm going to insert an oval. One oval here. Let's make it red. I like red a lot. Okay. So I'm going to also multiply it. So this is here. Each rectangle has its corresponding oval. What I want to do is that I want a situation whereby when I click on a particular oval, something should happen here. So I'm controlling it. Let me just add numbers to it. Two, three, four. So I'm going to apply animation effects to these boxes. So this one, I will apply flying, flying from the left. Now there is a trigger here. You see this button here, trigger. 
So I click on it and on click off, I select this oval. That means the animation will play only when you click this oval. Let's preview it and see. Okay. Well, let's add the second one. Yeah. The second one is this. I select this one. I want it to fly in from the top right. And then I select trigger on click of this one. Then I go to this one. I add an effect. I want it to float in. It should float in. Click on it and trigger on click of the third one. Then I select this one. I want it to fly in, fly in from the right, but it should only take place when it is triggered by clicking this object. So let's run the presentation and see. I click on this one, it comes. I click on this one. Each one will trigger a certain action. So that is what the triggering does. We will work on this triggering sometime in the future. Okay, so now you understand what animation effects are. Let's apply the animations to our very short presentation here. So I'm going to delete that box. We don't need it anymore. And if you want to remove an effect from an object, all you have to do is click on the number and press delete and it's gone. So let's go to the first slide. What should we do with the first slide? This is the intro. So I want this intro to bounce in when the presentation starts. So I select it, go to animation, and then what should it do? I want it to bounce in, this is bounce. So let's preview it. It's going to bounce, okay? Then we go to the next slide, which is this. And this is what we did before. I want him to move very fast into position. So I select this, go to animations, and I want him to come in through the custom path. So I will draw the path he would pass and I bring him here, double click. Then the next one, the slide three. I want these two to fly in from the top and these two to fly in from the bottom. So I'm going to select the two of them. I select one, press control and click on the other. So both are selected. So I go to fly in. From where? Fly in from the top. Okay. And then I select the bottom two. I also select fly in. Fly in from where? The bottom. Okay. So let's preview this slide and see. Okay. So you can control the speed if you want, but I think this speed is moderate and it's okay. Then we go to the next one. One, two, three, slide four. With a slide four, I'm going to make, uh, you see the countries representing the locations where we operate. We have India and UK. Okay. I want them to fly in from the top. So I select the two, fly in from the top. Then I select the three countries at the bottom and I want them to fly in from the bottom. Okay, let's preview it and see. Okay, like I said, you can also uh, reduce the speed by increasing the duration here. So that is that. And then we go to the next slide. This question, man. I want him to fly in also, or let's make him uh, bounce in. Okay, 
he's going to bounce in. See how he's going to bounce in. Okay. Then we go to the next slide. So with this one, I want the paragraph to fade in. This is the paragraph. I select it and then go to animations. Let it fade in. Okay. So when it's fading in, you can also control it. You come to this point here and select effect options. It is text. So the option is asking you, do you want the whole text to fade in at once? Or do you want to f it to fade in word by word or letter by letter? I want it to fade in uh, word by word. Now let's see how that works. Okay. So the next one is the last, which is a thank you slide. And I always like to have my thank you bouncing. So I want it to bounce in. Okay. So you look at it and you see it. It bounces in nicely. Okay. So that is how we apply animation effects onto our PowerPoint presentation. I hope you have learned a lot about this in this video. Okay, I would so much like to hear from you. If you have used PowerPoint before, I want you to put it in the comment section. Tell me how you used it. How did it help you? And then if you are new to PowerPoint also, I want you to tell me what you feel about the program as you are learning it now. Just type your comments in the comment section below. And I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, I want you to like it and share it with your friends and family. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you and bye for now.